Your next choice is um, one of my personal favourite stories featuring my favourite Doctor and it is one that didn't exist in, in the archives for a long time and it's two of the side men. Do you understand me? Now that I have released you... Ah! Let me go! I said to be! It was our bad! You belong to us. You shall be like us. Oh yeah, fantastic. Yeah. yeah um, what, what do you find so good about Tomb of the Zion Men? What do you always say? It's um oh it's a fantastic story. It's 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 a great story to show to as like a first one to show to anyone who hasn't seen a, a, a classic story before. And it um it's prob I think it was the first black and white Doctor Who story that I ever saw. Um and yeah, it's just it's just great. It's it's got a really interesting uh enemy, of course. The the, the uh Cybermen themselves are just are just brilliant in it. They're just um they work. I think um, both the Daleks and the Cybermen work really well in black and white because they've got that kind of chrome look to them. And um, you know, they, they, um, when they when they break out of those sort of the the tombs, uh, it's just it's just a fantastic moment, really, in in Who that. Um, there's there's a great sort of supporting cast as well. Um, the Doctor's on great form. Uh, I think it really it's uh, it, um, it's probably the best that Victoria is in, in that story as well. Um, there's that great scene where she's talking about, um, the way he's talking about grief and how to deal with grief after losing her uh, father in, in the, um, is it the evil of the Daleks or the power of the Daleks? I always get those two mixed up. Evil of the Daleks. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just, it's just a great, it's just a great serial, really. Great fun one to watch from beginning to end. And like you said about the, the scene where, the Doctor looks to, to Victoria. Yeah. Um, it's sort of one of the first times to see the Doctor sort of open up and sort of mention his family. Mm. You wouldn't ever yeah. have got something like that with Hartnell. Yeah. Not really, of the nice series of his family, but, you know, actually talk about, like, people from his home. Yeah, because definitely. Because the Doctor was a big mystery at this point, even into Troutland. Yeah. I didn't know well, up until the uh, the war games, really, there was we we didn't know where he was from or who his people were or anything like that. So yeah, it was still quite mysterious. So it, it's not it, it must have been really exciting at the time to have little snippets like that of uh, you know to not to know a little bit more about him. Yeah. What do you think about uh, this? Is something that is levelled against certain classic stories. What do you think of the possible? Though not intentional racism with Toberman. Oh God! Interesting question. <laughs> um, what do I think of it? Um, I mean, obviously, it's it's not dated well. That sort of thing. Um, it's it's a it's a double edged sword, really, because on one on one hand, it, it's great. It was great at the time to see people from different uh, ethnic backgrounds in science fiction, like. Star Trek was doing it, and it, it was it was quite a positive thing to have different sorts of people on television. Because up until that point, it was very much a, a BBC thing of white middle class males, you know, uh, only yeah. sort of thing. So from that point of view, it was quite a good thing. But yeah, he is quite a one dimensional character, and a bit um, it doesn't really represent <laughs> people very well. I don't think that that character. No. But you know, in the end, he, he's he's the one who saves the day, isn't he? You know, yeah. he's, he's the the most heroic of, of the lot in the end. So, um, yeah. what what do you think? <laughs> oh well, I, I I don't think it was intentional because he was a, he was a med, originally meant to have a um, hearing aid in, and that the reason that he was you know sort of like um, didn't speak as much is because he was it was more to do with some affliction of the brain or something, and that was. Oh, right. But I, I, I guess that again, like you say, it's it's more a product of its time and sort of like yeah. cutting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't get anything like that nowadays. But I mean, in the sixties, I mean, there was a lot of shows that were a lot more racist. So yeah, Doctor Who so got off comparatively some... lightly. Yeah, yeah. Racist episodes. So yeah, I mean, a few that. 
that actor actually came back, didn't he? And it was it Terry the Autons where um, he had uh, not that character, sorry, the actor. Um, but I think he was a pretty one-dimensional character then as well. <laughs> I don't think they gave him anything better, even in the Perky times. So. 